Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to schedule your Lambda function. Okay. So now this is very useful when you want to uh, run your Lambda function on a periodic basis. So let's say you want to run your Lambda function once every 10 minutes, right? So in that case, you will have to uh, schedule your Lambda function. So let's see how to do that. So to do that, we will be uh, using AWS uh, Amazon Event Bridge service. So uh, let's go to Amazon Event Bridge service first. Okay, so Amazon Event Bridge uh, helps you basically uh, schedule your Lambda function or any cron job, right? I mean, any target. If you want to run on a scheduled basis, you can use Amazon Event Bridge. Also, if you want to uh, trigger your Lambda function based on a particular event or anything, you can use Event Bridge as well. So here we will uh, use Event Bridge to uh, schedule our Lambda function. Let's say every two minutes. Okay, click on Create Role here. So Role is basically what you define. Okay, so you can define your schedule and you know target. And uh, this rule will be triggered, you know, in the schedule that you specify. Okay, let's create, let's call this test role. Okay, and description is optional. Event bus, I will uh, leave it to default. Here you have two options. Okay, one with uh, event pattern and the with the schedule. So basically, when you want that target to be triggered based on occurrence of a particular event, you can select this. Or if you just want to, uh, you know, run the target based on a schedule, you can select this. Since we would want to run our Lambda function on a scheduled basis, we will select this one. Click on next. Okay. So here again, you have uh, two options. One is you can uh, define your customized cron expression. Cron expression can be like, I mean, if you want to run the Lambda on a particular month of the, uh, you know, day of the month or, you know, particular time of the day or something like that, you can define your cron expression here. Or if you just want to define a schedule, you can select this. And you know, let's select two minutes here. Okay, just to you know make the testing faster. I'm just uh, selecting two minutes. You can select the you know schedule that you you know wish for. Click on next here, and in the target, basically, what is the target that you want to uh, trigger every two minutes? So here it is our lambda function. So click for search for lambda here, and select the function that you want to trigger, and click on next. Tags are optional. Click on next here and click on create role. Okay, so now the role is triggered, uh, uh, created. So once the role is created, make sure that uh, the status is in enabled state. Otherwise, the role will not be able to trigger the lambda. Okay, so if it is in disabled state, click on the role and here uh, click on enable. Okay, so now the role is created. Let's wait for you know a uh, couple of minutes and see if it triggers a lambda. Okay, um, while we wait for it, uh, I mean, let's refresh this Lambda page and see if that, you know, trigger is added to this Lambda. Okay, so now if you see here for this Lambda for, you know, the trigger event bridge trigger is added. Okay, if you see here in the details, it says that, you know, the schedule expression is two minutes. So this Lambda will be uh, triggered every two minutes. Okay, I had just paused the video for a couple of minutes. So let's go to this monitor tab and see if that uh, rule triggered the Lambda function. Click on view logs in CloudWatch here. Okay. And let's see uh, the rule triggered the Lambda function. So if you see here, uh, you know, at 2010, it has triggered uh, the Lambda functions. So, I mean, after a couple of minutes, it should trigger again. Like, I mean, in 2012, it should tr trigger the Lambda again. So let's wait for that. Okay. So if you go to the monitoring tag, uh, you can see that, you know, the Lambda was invoked once in 1440 and again in 1442. So basically every two minutes, once uh, the Lambda will be triggered based on the event rule. Okay. So that's how you schedule your Lambda function using Amazon event bridge. Now, I mean, after you are tested, please uh, make sure that to disable your role. Otherwise your Lambda will be, you know, triggering every two minutes once and maybe you might be charged money okay so i hope you found this video helpful for more such videos please subscribe to my channel thank you and i'll see you in the next video